All right, so you're probably wondering where I am today. Usually different, usually my videos, I'm on the water. Well, today, we're not on the water. Today's a huge week in the fishing industry. This week is iCast. Um, hundreds and, or probably thousands of people attend the, the biggest show in the fishing industry down there. It's pretty much only for buyers and media. Um, so the general public can't get in, but there's all kinds of videos and stuff posted. Well, I decided to do something different, because like, in Canada where I'm from, there's nobody that really covers this stuff. There's nobody that really does the eye casting. You see tons of vlogs and stuff, guys from the U.S. down there. But pretty much if your name's not Dave Mercer, J.P. Del Rose, or Bob Azumi, you're not really down there representing Canada. Or if you are, nobody knows about it, and nobody sees it on social media or any avenues till later in the year. So we're going to do, since we're in Canada, and I can't really afford, or don't have anybody that invites me to iCast, we're going to do iCast on a budget. We're going to tell you if some of the products I think that came out are any good. Uh, we'll do some freshwater related, maybe some saltwater related, and see what you think. Let me know. If you liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned. We're going to talk about some of the products that came out this year at iCast. We don't all get the privilege of going to iCast. Like there's not too many guys from Canada that really get to go down there and show social media stuff. So I basically decided to do my own iCast on a budget. I mean, a lot of these guys are showing stuff online anyways. They give me all the information. So I want to put together a list of a few products that I think are going to be really good. But I also want to tell you something that I think, you know, it might suck. That it, like it's all marketing hype behind them. The first product though that I think is going to do dynamite for my iCast is the Minn Kota Ultrax. It's the newest uh, bow mount controller motor. It's sort of a combination, a bit of a power steer, four tracks cable combination. And it takes the side, the bass guys really love cable steer because it really gives them a good feel with the foot pedal. And the guys that fish more open water really like the function of like the eye pilot you find on the Altera and stuff. Well, the Ultratrax combines them together. So basically have cable steer with eye pilot spot lock. So now if you run power poles or something, you're only good to about six, eight feet. Well, with spot lock, you're gonna get out, you can spot lock it in 50, 100 feet, right? It doesn't matter. So if some guys are like him and home, do I really need power poles? They're definitely nice to have or talons or, or whatever. But I think this is gonna be huge in the fishing industry. I think you can see a lot of bass guys starting to run this. You can see a lot of walleye guys use this system. I think it's really going to take over the trolling motor market, especially linked with the Humminbird. So that's the first product I think that's really going to kill it is the Minn Kota Ultrax. Um, it, it's, it's amazing the technology this thing has. So And it's supposed to have a new compass in it that even keeps makes the spot lock better. So um, I think it's going to be awesome. The next product I want to talk about, it's made by, let me see here... Uh, Savage Gear is called a 3D Suicide Duck. It actually, I think, won the best hard lure at iCast. Um, every once in a while, somebody said, you know, people say there's like this pattern for ducks and for, for like large mold and stuff like that. But to be honest, people are going to buy this lure. This is going to be the biggest. You're going to buy it, use it once or twice. It's probably going to cost you like 20, 25 bucks. You're going to use it once or twice. It's going to see your tackle box and nobody's going to use it. But you know what? All stores are going to order this thing in. It's going to be a hot seller right away at the beginning, but within six, eight months, it's going to fizzle up. Nobody's going to buy this thing, and it's going to be junk. It's actually probably going to be better for pike and musky fishing than it will be for bass fishing. So that's one product that I've seen at iCast that a lot of people are talking about, but I think so overrated. Uh, it's going to have a lot of push at the beginning, but after that, it's going to sit in people's tax box, collect dust. So maybe don't, don't invest your money until you actually see if it really works, but I have a hard time believing it's actually going to work well. The second last product I want to talk about is actually by Wynn. I don't know if a lot of salmon guys know about it, or maybe some fly fishermen guys know about it, but in the freshwater, they're, they're starting to get really big. Or anybody that does custom rod building, they make these really cool, as you can see here, the custom rod grips. Um, I think these would look so dynamite, like on a, a nice St. Croix downrigging rod or Shimano or a trophy or something like that. The company went out and put these. You could put some cool matching colors, pair it with like an Islander or a trophy, like one of the custom greens or oranges they do or that gold. Man, I think it would stand out. Plus, not only that, they're actually really functional. When Like out here we get a lot of rain on the west coast. And sometimes that rod or cork can get slippery. You get fish slime on your hands, whatever. This stuff gives you a lot of dexterity. It gives you really good grip. 
So if you're looking to maybe build a custom rod or downrigger rod, or you know what, any company's out there, you're thinking of something unique, look at Wynn. They make a really cool, uh, like, wrap sort of for the, the handles of the rods. And uh, I think we saw something really cool to see on downrigger rods. It's in freshwater, uh, spinning reels, bait casting, but nobody's done it yet for salt. So who knows? You know what, maybe somebody will pick it up and, uh, and try it. But uh, if you're building some customs, check out uh, Wynn Grips. The last product I want to talk about is for bass fishing. It's frogs. Um, I'm a big fan of Spro. I fish all their sprogs from the the Roha 65, the Pop and Frog, King Daddy. They have well a couple years ago. Well, I think about two years ago now, Spro came out with the Pop and Frog, and this year they came out with a new Spit and Frog. And I haven't had my hands on it yet, but it looks very unique shape shape and the action. Of, of, it's supposed to be a bit of a walking type of frog with that Pop and style action. But anyways. Everybody else in the industry is trying to catch up. Their Terminator is making a frog. Mans has a frog now. Every company is making frogs. So I think the biggest trend you're going to see in tackle, while well, it is, because there's more of it than any other lures or like new designs of the frog. So um, if you're big into frog fishing, this year there's no shortage of options. But like I said, I'm a big pro guy. I think they make the best. I think everybody else is trying to catch up to them. But one that is unique is the Terminator Frog. Um, I can't remember what it's called or whatever, but they have like this cool unique uh, chamber at the back where water exits. And I've seen guys like Jacob Wheeler and stuff promoting it and they did some good videos and stuff on it. So if you're a big frog fisherman, this is definitely the year for you. If you like that pop and frog combination, um, this is definitely, you'll be all over them. There's no shortage of options to try. So if you're, gonna, if you're looking for some new frogs, Pop Frog is the way to go this year. Um, like I said, big Spro guy. So check out the Spros. But Terminator also makes a really good one too. So maybe give them a shot. Well, that's about it for what I think of some of the stuff from iCast. Uh, there's probably there's hundreds of other products and stuff that I'd like to do videos on and comment. But like I say, this, this is iCast on a budget. So I just picked a few that I like. Uh, quick, Easy to turn on a quick video. Check out. There's tons of sites. Bass Masters, FLW, Bass Fan. If you go on YouTube, Google iCast, tons of people are showing vlogs and stuff of it. So hopefully you like the video, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching Brackish Water Outdoors. We're out.